joining us today on the channel where we've got 1750 points match play Legio Tempestus against a Night Household. Hello and welcome all you lovely people to another Bets of Titanicus Battle Report with myself, Sophie. And me, Alex. And we've got something different today. Yeah, we, we usually say that and then it turns out what we're doing is Tempestus versus Mortis. Yes. But uh, no, it actually is different. Uh, I am bringing Tempestus as always, but Sophie, you're bringing... A Knight Household. Yeah. So I've been looking at the rules for these. I've been playing a lot of knight-heavy lists um, in Titanicus in general, but still with my Legio Mortis. And now, I've got enough knights, and I'm going to stick them on the field, and I'm going to take them off the field. Which is what I presume is going to happen. Yeah, the rules are weird, aren't yeah. they? Weird! We'll have a proper whinge about it probably during the game as the various weird bits come up, but yeah. they're very strange. They're just odd. Uh, but on the other hand, you do have a huge pile of knights, and you have your Perfirians, so yes. uh, we'll have to see what happens. Murder turtles, and they not, I, I really had to dust them off. Because um, <laughs> no one's let you play with them no for about a year. Like, rightly so, because yes. they're heinous. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, we'll, we'll see how they do. Um, we'll see the night households, etc, etc. Um, it'll be good enough. be good enough. Um, if you have been enjoying the channel, please think about subscribing, hitting that like button, dropping us a cheeky comment. It all helps out the channel, and it's perfectly free. It's always a bonus. Uh, there is also our Patreon down below. There is a link in the description. So, um, along in the description, we will have our own Instagram links, and then we will have our Patreon link, and also our Composite Games affiliate link. So, if you use that link um, and buy anything through Composite Games, you'll help us out and help yourself out with a cheeky little discount. Yes. Okay, shall we see what we're bringing today in the list? Let's. Okay, okay, Alex, what are you bringing with you today? I'll go first while you finish dusting your models. <laughs> They're so dusty. <laughs> so I'm bringing uh, Legia Tempestus, as always. We're back to Tempestus again. Uh, I've done my stint as a traitor. It was good fun, don't tell anyone. <laughs> but uh, we're running a loyalist today. So two maniples. We have got, first of all, we have an Arcus. So we have our Warbringer. I am coming around to the Warbringer. Uh, I really don't like getting Dan's right on principle, but it is actually a good Titan. Uh, he's my Princeps, he's got Faith of the Fortune, he's got the Quake Cannon, the Volcano Cannon, and the Volcano Cannon. All reliable. And speaking of all reliable, we then have two Warhounds, each with the Torment Pattern, Mega Bolter, and Plasma. Um, Sophie told me she was bringing some Titans in her list. I tried not to tailor too much for Anti Knight or not bringing enough Anti Knight stuff, so we're kind of straight down the middle. In terms of, it's a take all comers list, let's go with that. So that's the Arcus, then we have a Corsair Manipole, which I've not done in a while. Um, so three Reavers, uh, I do have a fourth on the way, but for now, just three. Uh, our Princeps is armed with, again, old reliable Chain Fist, Melter Cannon, and a Mega Bolter. His Princeps trait is Stormborn, so whenever anyone in his Manipole is under charge orders, they push the reactor for movement for free. So, goes a bit faster. We've got another Reaver who is going to be really good at stripping shields on the one Titan you have. I said, are you bringing any Titans? And you technically said, yes, I am bringing some Titans. I, I, yeah, one we'll Titan is technically Titans. We'll go into it afterwards. <laughs> All right. It was um, my fault. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, he's got a Gatling Cannon, a Mega Bolter, and a Chain Fist. And then last but not least, we have... What have you got again? We have a Power Fist, Apoc Launcher, and a Volcano Cannon. So we do have loads of blast weapons all over the place. Um, it was tight getting this into 1750, so I couldn't afford any more Melter Cannons, and I also couldn't afford Gyros. So that Warbringer is going to be using the Corridor Arc for that Quake Cannon, which could be a problem. Yes. But that's it. 1750 points on the nose. Stratagems will be in the description, and as and when they come up, you'll see what I've got anyway. Cool. What have you got, Sophie? So, I'm running a night household, and this is House Vextrix. House Vextrix. Vextrix. Hard, they, hard name to say. They Vextrix. traditionally were with, uh, they marched with Legio Mortis. They're kind of, uh, I kind of painted them a little bit more gold and green, but do you know what? Green enough. So what's Vectrix do, for those who are 
Oh, where are them? Like, oh, right? no, there's no... They don't? No, That's not how it works? No, okay. it's just it's, 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 I, pick, I get access to um, my Seneschal traits, which I'm not using any, because I'm picking one of the Questorus Mechanicus. Um, that's actually my allegiance. So, once per game, I can issue an order for free automatically um, to a Night Banner. And my Seneschal, um, he's not a High King, uh, I didn't have the points. Um, he, when I use a stratagem, if it's two or less points, I can use it again immediately. And that could be fun. Um, yes. In, in one of my stratagems is plasma mines, so I can just go, plasma mines is actually, we, we set them up with just more plasma mines. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, we might, that might happen. Okay, in the actual lance itself, I will have a unit of night lancers. Mm -hmm. I will then have a unit of three um, night castigators with the castigator bolt cannons, who will try and get a kill. We'll, we'll go for the largest titan. Large Titan, smallest gun. Yeah. Actually doable in a uh, in a knight household force because you can stack the strength, can't you? You can. Uh, that's mainly useful for stripping shields. Okay. Um, what I really want is I could have twenty one strength three shots going into something. Um, it has to be wounded. <laughs> it, uh, you know, a war ha can't even do anything to a warhound unless I'm in the side. Oh no. And the rapid. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, we then have a unit of four Knight Acrons. These are the Flamers and Chain Fists. They're quite fun. Um, they're a little bit less potent um, in the, than if I was taking them in the business maniple. We then have two um, Free Blades, which is another unit of three Lancers, and a unit of the Acastus Papyrians. And this is the... Their shoulders look very tired. Yes, yes, because they are carrying the entire list. <laughs> um, and honestly, yeah, they can. Yeah, um, they're really good. Mm. They're going to be target number one. Mm. Um, yeah, I absolutely understand. They need a rework because they're too good. But you kind of have to take them in a night household list. And given how crap the rest of the list is, it's, it's, uh, it's fair enough, really. <laughs> We then have a Reaver Titan. Um, unfortunately, I can only take one Titan per lance. Yes. So I was planning on bringing more when we were chatting about the list. That's yeah, fine, don't worry. And, and then I went, oh, I can't. <laughs> I'll bring more knights then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, he has a um, Apop Torcher, Volcano Cannon, and Gatling, because that's all I could squeeze into the points. And he doesn't get Legio traits, does he? No. Cool. Not that Legion Waters get that many anyway. But well, yeah, well. <laughs> much for dead. Uh, okay, and that's 17.50 on the nose. Cool. So we will be playing match play, so we will come back once we've deployed um, with our appropriate deployment map and we selected our objectives. Right, you join us after deployment. Um, and we are deployed in staggered front. Yes. So the this is the coral deployment with a segment cut out, if you like. So yes. we have a 24 inch square in the middle we can't deploy in. Uh, should I go for my mission? Yeah. Oh, what was it again? <laughs> um, of their forebears is my primary. So one of my titans, the Warbringer, is carrying a banner. I know he doesn't have one. Use your imagination, please. Uh, if he's still carrying it in the game, 25 points. If someone else has picked it up when he's died, 15. If no one's carrying it but no one's near it, 5. And then my secondary is Engage and Destroy, which is points based on how much of a battle group I kill. If I wipe out half or more of a Knight Banner, I do get half points for that banner. Very good. So, uh, the plan is to survive. Yes. Uh, Sophie, what have you got? I have Push Forward, so I've got to push into your um, Battlefield Edge, which is, so, yeah, that one there. Um, I then have Honor Jewel, so I've got to kill him. 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 Yes. And um, I'm going to get an extra six points if I've killed at least half of him. Okay. So half of him or half of my battle group? Half of your battle okay. group. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, let's go through deployment. So, Alex, take you through what you've done. So, I have put most of the stuff at the front. I've got a warhand on each flank to give myself line of sight for Arcus, wherever you end up. That's the thinking, anyway. Mm -hmm. You're about to facing the wrong way. Um, we've got one Reaver on this flank, two Reavers on this flank. I've tried to spread out because I'm scared of the enormous number of blasts you're sending my way with the Acastus Knights. Mm -hmm. 
But actually, given where you've deployed, you probably have to move turn one anyway before you shoot anything. Yes. So, well, unless you walk to his place or something like that. And then at the back, uh, he's got to live. So, as far away from all knights as humanly possible is the best idea I can think of. Yes. Okay, I'll go through mine. So, um, I have outflanked one uh, Lance Banner. Um, they will be coming in later. I then have deployed my knights in a very... I'm aware this is a Blast template game, so I've tried to deploy them as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. I then have my Reaver and my Murder Turtles over here, ready to yeah, shoot, some, shoot some Titans. I have deployed Mount of Line of Sight to discourage a first fire. Mm. But that's... I mean, can the Warhounds... Well, we'll check in a second when it comes to yeah. shooting at you. It's going to be under minus two. Yeah, or if indirect fire if Arcus yeah. can see you, so fire to your way. So, uh, priority, you had like two drops, so yes. you're on a d10. Yes. I rolled a five. I rolled a three. Uh, I'll take priority. Very good. I'll go first. Pull me back in back round one. Alrighty, we are kicking straight off with the first fire. Let's recap the stratagem phase first. So no stratagems played. Nope. Um, orders, we had a split fire, a coordinated strike on the castigators, and a first fire um, over here on your princeps. Yes, it did cost me uh, iron resolve, because of course I rolled a one. So yes. I wanted to get off, I had clearly assigned to a bunch of knights because if I can quake at least one of them, the whole lance slows down. Mm -hmm. So we're straight into the movement phase, first activation is obviously him. Yes. Uh, there are some other knights in the way blocking my sights, I'm hitting him a four. That'll be a miss. I will, I'll use phase of my fortune, because I'm not gonna get a better chance than this. It pays off. Okay, so you will get three hits. Three hits, so two directs on one guy and one clipping each of the other ones. These are strength nine. Do you get a save against strength nine? I do. It's just going to be a six up there. Okay. Nope. Unfortunate. So strength nine. We have. Ooh, okay. We have an eleven mm -hmm. and two fifteens. Eleven, two fifteens. So it's one, two, three. You do kill one. Kill one, and they are then auto shaken and quaked. Yes. Sure. That was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Yes. He says confidently. The rest is just actual movement, so should we yeah. do that and come back with something else interesting? We happens? shall indeed. Okay. Oh, before. Okay. My knights are coming in on this flank. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. All oh, right, I played a stratagem. Oh, yes. Yes, and it's plasma mines. Oh, no. Wait, I said it was happening. Yeah. And here it goes. So D3 strength 10 hits on the legs. It's the one. Okay. So you take. And 14 to the legs. 14 to the legs will be a devastating hit to my legs. Okay, am I on any bonuses? You are not. Oh, that's a shame, because I'm immediately going to play the same stratagem twice. Okay. For another two. And that's going to be a strength 12 and another strength 14. 12 direct and 14 devastating. So we are, you're on a plus two to my legs, but they, are, they do still work. Very good. Um, to summarise, so did that at the end of the movement phase. That yes. was on the Princess Razor as my last activation. Yes. Everything else has kind of... Shuffled. This Warhound's hiding. Mm -hmm. This Reaver Corsair over to there. He's on a minus two, where we can throw a volcano down at the Acastus. This Warhound here. Let's move around to my right flank. The Reaver is. I don't want to go too close because I don't have any charge orders. But I was waiting for a warp displacement, so he's informed me she can't do that. No. <laughs> um, it is what it is. So we're playing a bit cagey for now, and then turn two might be when the charges start to happen. Yes. Um, my legs don't work, everything else is fine. So let's go straight into combat. Oh, wait, sorry, your movement, what did you do? Oh, um, I, I moved as far as I could here, Yeah. Um, and then we've shuffled over here. Yeah, that quake is, of course, limiting your movement a bit, isn't it? Yes. It's stopping you from going too far away from them. Okay, combat. Um, you don't have many long-range guns other than the Acastus, no. but are going to hurt whenever they hit. Actually, I'm going to go with the Sreva, because you're probably going to try and kill him with your Acastus, yes. because his legs don't work. So he is going to put his melter on that one. Mm -hmm. um, we are. Oh, let's check on the side first. We are on minus one. We'll go for the one at the back. Okay. Actually, no. We'll go on the ones with infusion range. Okay. Um, I'll check with the mega bolters within eight. Because if it is, it won't be firing. Because I pick one target, don't I? Yes. You're outside it. I can't estimate ranges. So melter on mm -hmm. him. Looking for a three. Looking for a three. There's two hits. 
Wonderful. Within fusion range at strength yes. 11, so that will be the bigger dice. Uh, There's one there. Yes. And another one is hiding. Cool. Well, the first one is... Okay. So strength 11, that is going to be a pair of crits. Very good. So two 18s. Well, I'll make sure we don't kill the... Uh, what do you call it? The scion? This face. The scion. Where's the one with the sunrise? There it is. Oh, God, I have to. Because, well... Otherwise, we'll break cohesion and it will auto be auto shaped. Oh, these, rule, these rules are interesting. Yeah. Um, Mega Bolt, uh, the guy to pick to target is dead, so does that mean yes. nothing happens? Um, or do I pick the next knight? I can pick a knight for the yeah. weapon. Cool, okay. I want a minus two. I'm looking for fives. That is one, two, three, four hits. Very good. There's only two of them there. You can so, save, of course. Um, we are on four ups. Mm. So three go through. Okay. Strength four. What's the start at? Nine. One nine. Okay. So yes, we see here. Oh. Well okay then. Uh, back to you. What oh, do you want to do? Right. I I am gonna have to try and remember well, I'm gonna see if they're shaking this one. Oh yes, yes. They they're fine. Okay. Um, we will go. With the shields. Okay. Um, and we are going to go onto that weaver because I do need to get with them. Yep. Really. And once the shields are down, they cast us. I think all lucky hits the decks and uh, yeah, we won't have any legs okay. anymore. Fight with legs. Don't need those. No, we do need those. He needs those. Oh, Not nice. sure what accent that was. Probably deeply offensive to somebody. <laughs> People from Andover. Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> Andover, Mordor, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so he got fours. That's going to be two. Oh, okay. Uh, threes. One goes through. There we go. And that's all she wrote. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, let's go with this Warhound here into the Lancers because we can't see the uh, Flamer guys. I'm going to put my shots into the guys at the front. Yes. My Mega Bolt will be at a minus one because I position myself stupidly. And you're over eight inches away. And we'll axle fire. Cool. Uh, aiming for Centimus because. It's not hitting anyone else. No. Right. So looking for fours. Oh, for goodness sakes, that's four hits. Cool. Do you get save against strength ten? I think I do, because it's three of us. Okay. No, no I don't. All right. Yeah. That is nothing, two thirteens and a fifteen. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Uh, what is it? Two. Th two thirteens and one fifteen. One, two, three, four. You kill one. Okay. So I will kill. Cool. And then the Mega Bolt are at a minus one, so looking for fours. Actually, no, I can't kill him because he needs to be incoherent. So oh, for goodness sakes. Yes, and I, I'll kill the other one. Cool. Uh, does that mean. Yeah, I do have clear outside to that one, so threes. You're okay. within 20, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that is four hits. So, um, three ups. So two go through. Okay. Nope, nothing. Okay, and are oh, they shaken? They are good. I'm at six. Not even stirred. No. Um, right, back to you. Okay, we will. We will. We got it. No, we're going to go with the reaver. Yeah. I'm going to fire the eight clock launcher into. We're going to try and focus down this part of reaver. Makes sense. So, five hits. Oh, very nice. I will push for that for a single heat, and I drop one shield. Okay. Where are you? You are this guy here. So one shield and one heat. Okay. We are on to fours now. We are going to put the volcano turn. We're going to send some out here. Yeah. Yes. To keep the miss. Where did it stop? Oh, uh, I'll goodness. probably clip my warhammer with that. Uh, you do more than clip him, you get a direct hit on him. Oh, uh, we're not going to push because nothing else is coming our way, so threes, we're fine. Okay. Uh, is that him done? Yes. Okay. Oh, I need to do a speed. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, well, um, who, put, who put that building in <laughs> However, the Warhounds can see. Uh, 
Yeah, because I do have line of sight to me. <laughs> this is what wargaming is. Yeah. Alex crawling around on the floor. <laughs> oh, my minus one! <laughs> I'm, I'm 75% concealed. <laughs> You're minus two to hit me. You're minus two to film me. <laughs> Uh, I am going to see if I can quake your Acastus. So here's quake cannon. Mm -hmm. um, there. So hitting all three. Yep. Looking for a five. Right, okay. So three hits on your Acastus at strength nine. Do you get a save? And one save in your Reaver. Yes, I do get a save. Um, so that's three at sixes. So none. And do you want to roll your Reaver save quickly? On the Reaver. Ah, shield goes down. Okay. Right, strength nine. What do I need to hurt you? Um, you need tens. Okay. Right, well, that is two 14s and a 15. One, this might be the best two, I've ever rolled. Three, four. There we go. Okay, and they are quaked and concussed, so bonked down to shaken. Uh, oh, and that is my actual shooting, so they're my volcano cannons. I will fire the first one once I find the reactor dice. Lovely, thank you. Same place. For a one hit. And yes. Um, right. Okay. So small blast. Yep. So I'll do the same on my reaver. Get his dirt. Okay. And then three strength ten hits. Is there a save against those? Uh, no. Nope. Strength ten. So that is a fourteen and a sixteen. Uh, fourteen. And you do another one. Okay. And then the second one. Where did that reactor die go? It's there. So, draining for free. It is a miss. Hooray! Oh, bloody time. I need these six. Oh, yes. Uh, have you got the scatter die? It's over there. Looks the last of these scattered. Six inches that way. Might play your Reaver, probably not. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's cut out. That's him done. Are they shaken? Oh, they are, yeah. They're already shaken because they're quaked. Oh, good. So it speeds things up for everyone. Okay. Um, I will fire up in Dex. Okay. We'll go into Reaver. So we'll start off with. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Am I in my season? Is that Reaver? I doubt it. Well, actually, oh, your Reaver's there. Yes, that's what So they're paired weapons, aren't they? Well, not from the missile pod. And that's on the roof? Yes. Uh, no, you're, you're fine actually. Okay, you're so fine for all your guns. Fours. Is that including so the penalty for being shaken? With that roll, that's a very good. Uh, was the last one? It was a one. Okay, so that is five, six, seven, eight saves. Eight saves. Grief. I mean, our reactor is fine, so we'll push for free. Fours are rolling ones. I think you're going to get my droids either way. That's all once though. Uh, you do get my voice. There we go. Um, all I need is a lucky few shots to the leg. So we are four dice, strength eight, and we'll just pop on the top. Uh, excuse me, four. Two hits, two misses. Okay. So four hits so far. Yes. Uh, there we go. Sentimas. Sentimas. Four inches is fine. Oh, it's going that way, isn't it? Yeah. Gone. And the other one. Five inches. Bosh. Is that on the wound? No. I no, I think it's just down, I'm afraid. But it is still four hits. Yes. My voids are out. You can hit me in the legs. The body. It's not a bad roll. So we've got 11. Direct. 12. Direct. Um, a 13. Devastating. And a 14. Devastating. End of the track. Very good. May as well go for the body now. Yes. <laughs> right, but that is him done. Mm -hmm. um, these guys are just flame templates, so they have no yeah. reach. Those guys are shot. They are miles away. So I can just... I've got no more activations. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know if you... This, this is very strange. <laughs> um, any of your knights damaged? Uh, yes. One of these is. Okay, uh, I just think I could do direct fire as APOC launcher, but there's a building in the way, so the volcano would not be shooting anything. Um, I'm going to shoot into your cast with yep. this guy. So, volcano first for free and a miss. 
sent a mess in the Acastus, so it has to be where I can see actually it's on his shoulder. Uh, gone. Can a Mega Bolter even hurt him? An APOC even? Yes. Yeah. Ten. Are you more than 30 away? Nope. So fives. We hit you once. Save against four up. Not that. Not that either. Okay. That's him done. Um, any more for any more? Oh yeah, you're still done, aren't you? Um, <laughs> this Reaver uh, into your flamethrower people, I suppose. Okay. Uh, nothing else to be within range, but yes. So, Gatling first. Mm -hmm. Looking for a clear out sight, so into the front one, looking for threes. That is four hits, strength five. Okay. So. Will be four saves of four ups. Okay. Two. Two. And strength five. That'll be definitely nothing and a nine. Excellent. Good. Kill them. I know. Which? Make it easy to which one's which. Uh, Mega Bolter is just in range. Looking for threes. That is going to be six, six hits. Good. That's strength four. So, pause again. Nothing. Oh, okay, right. Strength four. So that'll be uh, oh, two three. tens. Uh, two nines, even. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because it starts on nine, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, so two nines. British Frost, so once we the track. Very good. And we're done. Okay, should we have priority? Yes. Oh, I need this. Two. Five. I didn't get it. Yeah, I'll be taking priority. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but wait, this isn't Battle Round 2. No, uh, Alex made a stupid mistake, but we caught it. Didn't pay for gyros. So his line of fire is that, not that. So we, we've rolled things back. Uh, I never fired the quake. So there's no concussion, no quake here. Uh, the volcano still hit and did some damage, but... Oh. You are still up at Acastus, and rewinding, that means that Acastus would have shot that Reaver, so... Yes. It should have all been one pile of fire, but... But yes, uh, I mean, you'll hit right. the bullets, because they combine their fire, don't they? Oh, God. Goodness, yes. So, so we'll roll just four do... more shots. Yes. We'll just do the magma, so that's... Two hits, yes. and then we will do three scatters. Yes. So, centre mass. Uh, seven gone. is gone. Yeah. Eight gone. is gone. Eight gone. is gone. So two additional hits to my body because it would have been at the same target as the other yes. casters. You didn't have any bonuses at the time. No. So strength eight, ten, eleven. Yeah. So that, that would just... be two directs, which will be my first two crits. Uh no, and oh yeah, ten and eleven. Yes. Yeah, because so you two wouldn't crits. have had a damage bonus at the time. And then you would have put his reactor at one. Yes, because I would have had a reactor leak at the end of the turn, and I think we're now back to where we're supposed to be. Yes. Cool. All right. Back to the strategy phase we go. Yes. Okay, so battle round two. We're in the combat phase, but as usual we've got loads of stuff to recap. So let's start the strategy phase. No strategies for either player, I believe. Nope. Orders? What nope. happens? So I put first fire on these knights, because I thought you were going to come around here. Yep. Instead you went around here. Uh, gave him charge orders, so yep. we got an orange move for free. Um, but then I had Spitfire on those knights. Yep. Um, I did that my once per game. Give them orders for free. Very good. Yeah. Um, we've then got Spitfire on these guys, and we've then moved over to here. Yes, your outflanking lads have arrived at Spitfire yes. on the Acastus. I didn't give any orders other than charge. I just wanted to charge to get him away from my other stuff for when he dies. And as it turns out, actually, that worked out quite well because due to your limited movement, due to your uh, baggage, um, yeah, you couldn't get around me, could you? No. So you had to stop in my front arc within chain fist range, which could go either way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> this Warhound pushed movement and swept around that corner to get line of sight on the rest of the Lance. This Reaver here, Corsair manipulated and sidestepped to get a bit of cover from the various shots coming down range. This Warhound's run up. He's not got particularly good line of sight on Soapy's Reaver, but we do have sight on some Knights and the Lance. And the Reaver and the Warbringer uh, have this to deal with. Yes. But to be honest, if I can quake one of them, then 
then they're out of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You did clear Shaken from Quaker. These guys, but they are still concussed, or they're mm-hmm. around, I forget which. They're no longer concussed, because concussed gives them Shaken, yeah. but they are still quaked, so they are still half move. Yes. There we go, we've got there in the end. Uh, damage control, uh, you don't really have any to do because you're not no. playing that game. Um, I, pretty uneventful, I did fail to get the voids reignited on that reaver, so I've cleared the void shield burnout crit, but voids are still out, the body is still in one crit, and so on. So, combat. I'm going to kick off with this reaver before he dies. I'm going to start with my chain fist into your lancers. Three dice for a chain fist? Yes. Yeah, obviously no run up here. Um, hitting on twos. Yes. That is three hits. What is Thank your save against strength eight? I think it's um, I think it's going to be a five up because strength eight with two knights left, is a six up, so three five up saves. So nothing. Nothing. Okay. So strength eight with rending. That is a single ten. Okay. Um, Fine. Okay. That is. Yes, that is just a direct. That's irritating. You are outside smash range. Yes. So I'll put a melter into you. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put it on the one that's not gonna scatter onto me and within weapon skill range. I put it on okay. Center mass. Mm-hmm. Looking for a three. That's a miss. Oh, it's all going wrong. Have you got the scatter dice? I've got the scatter dice. You've got the scatter dice. Eight inches that way. I think it's going to end up somewhere around here. Will we miss everything? Can you pass me a tape measure or check it for me? Right. Eight inches on the back guy. Um, the angle's more like. I think you'll probably um, clip him. Okay, so for one? Yes. No saving at strength 11. No. Nope. You're not within fusion range because hitting him, so. Mm-hmm. A 14 to 14. your castigator. Yes. So one, two. I could help, but I don't know how to read my time at all. There we go. Well, that was a whiff, wasn't it? Yeah. And obviously the Mega Volta is within Carapace range. Yes. So your activation. Oh, where shall I go next? That, that's kind of changed. I actually do need to um, finish this off. You need some diary, don't you? Yeah, before, especially before the plasma just goes into those castigators. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the... We're going to put this knight... We're going to start with the shield into that warhammer. Of course, you want to put fire orders, yes. so you can do that. So, that's just four shots. This one here Plus. has got a building in the way. Oh, okay, so it's only two shots. Okay. So I will put the shield into him. Just the body into the body. Yes. We'll do the one at the back first, though. Into my Warhound. So that's one save. One save. Won't push for that. Uh, it's fine. And then we'll shield into... Do you know what? I'm not going to aim. Yeah, body or legs, either's good. Well, do... That's meant to be, okay. Then we'll have to use a real weapon. I'll we'll stab you in yes. the... Body. Yeah, makes sense. Not. So that is three. Yes, plus three to this. Okay. I've already got one crit, so I think that's probably going to be engine kill. Do you want to check it for me? So it's going to be a 13 and a crit. Yeah. Um, so 13 will put me there. And, and a crit will be two bomb. crits. Engine kill! Engine kill! Now, do I want to use a stratagem here? Yeah. It could really give my Warhound a very bad day, but it could also be extremely funny. I see what happens with the Tempestus roll first, and then okay. possibly use the stratagem. So, Tempestus roll, do I get shoot before I die? Yes, with all my guns. Uh, is that just one of your guns? Oh, hang on, on a four, a Reaver's passed my three, they're not passed by two or more. You are correct. Yeah. I'll fire with the Melter Cannon. I will put it there. Cool. What's the Chainfist better? Chainfist is probably better, actually, than to him. Okay. Because of hitting on threes. Yes. Go with the chain fist. Okay. Are these knights undamaged? Uh, no, one's got some damage. One's on the way. Yeah, yeah. this is probably a better call. So into the knight of the chain fist. Mm-hmm. So that will be two hits. Mm-hmm. Two no. five ups. One okay. goes through. Strength eight. Oh, strength nine, actually. I should have said I'll put his plus one strength for his weapon because he has critical damage. Oh, okay. Chain fist. Yeah. I can do that once per combat phase. Probably should have done it earlier. Uh, that is... A three, so that will be a twelve. Very good. You just knock him up. Another one. Okay. Bonk. And then. Oh. And then. Oh, it will really ruin my Warhound's day. But it could ruin a lot of other things' days as well. Yes, I'm going to do it. I will use override signal for Hooray. one scratching point. So plus four to the critical the critical damage roll. Stop running over the terrain, Alex. Six. Wildfire. Six. Oh, that's not what we wanted at all. 
Wrong dice. Yes. Uh, this way. Okay, so you do shoot me. Yes. Uh, only with the melt cannon because yeah. you're within carapace range. Looking for a five. Put it on him. Yeah. Nope. Now I need the D10. Pretty good. And a scatter rooting. You found one? I've got it. No, I haven't. There you have it. Stealing my orders. Yeah. Seven inches over here. Okay. Nothing, and then we fall. Yes. Do I want to use my other stratagem, which may or may not be last ditch efforts? Mm. Hmm. I do a bit. No. Uh, what am I supposed to take this for? Where do we stagger to, first of all? We stagger three inches that way, so we bump into the wall. Yeah. Um. Yes, let's use, let's use last ditch efforts. That's okay. funny. So I fall on these guys. Yeah. D6 hits. One. One. Do you save it? Five up. Yes. He's parrying my body. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was That's disappointing. That's two points. Yep. Yeah. For a big pile of nothing. Engine kill. Engine kill. And that is, that is a little bit of a reprieve. <laughs> Uh, the rest of your lance, if your castigator's here but it can't damage my voids, can they? That's correct. And your flame is out of range. Yes. So you're done? Yep. Cool, let me think about what to do about that. That hurt. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Uh, okay. <laughs> right, uh, let's go on to the Warbringer. So we are going to basically try and shut down this outflanking unit. We're going to start with our Quake Cannon. We are firing center mass on the far one. Okay. There's no overlap, so if you spread out correctly. Yes. So we're looking for a three. So miss, favoured by fortune, some new battle round. That is two hits. Yes. Do you get a save against strength nine? I do. These are on a five up, I okay. believe. Uh, so save one, one goes through. Strength nine. No damage. No damage, but I think that does still quake and or concuss your car and witch. Yes, we'll check it's in one moment. or the other. <laughs> yes. I'll fire a volcano at you. For a single hit. Yes. Which is two more hits. Mm -hmm. Do you get a save against strength ten? No. No. Okay. That is a nothing. And a 15. Okay, if you just want to move them, the fresh one on by two. Certainly. One, two. Okay, and then we'll fire the other volcano. Yes. For free. Okay, so that was just one heat. One heat so far on the Warbringer. Yeah. And two more hits. Yes. I'm doing very well with these. So, no save again. Strength 10. That's more like it. 14 and a 15. So that will come Power on. devastating. So one, two, and then oh, off the end of the track. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. They all look the same. This one. Yeah, you kill one. One, two, off the end of the track, kills one. Yes. And I will kill... I'll kill him. Why okay. Not? Very good, but that is then him. The new shaken, I think. Oh, we'll, we'll check or it. Or concussed. One or the other. Yes. Uh, that's the war ringer done. Yes. Okay, I am then going to... Try and fire these guys. So, so we, we do need to check if they are. Yes, and we're going into that Weaver. Is there only one of them? Right. Because they'll be on minus one if they're shaken. Yeah. So they are not shaken. Okay. From which one then, sorry? Uh, from concussive. Okay, so concussive requires a direct or better, does it? Yes. Okay. But um, they are hot. Okay, and would they be shaken from the actual losing yes. model? Oh, yes, yeah, very good. Uh, D10, please. There. Or there. Or there. Huh. Yes, there. No. They're not shaken, so they're firing four basic skill. That's just two hits on that reaver. Two hits on that reaver. Very good. Not going to push. We drop one shield on the die with fist. Yes. Mr. Pister. In fact, they both have, They all have fists. Yes. One with the power <laughs> fist. I know which one you meant. Yes. And that's my activation. On to you. Hmm. I had hoped for them to be shaken, but again, them being slowed down is fine. So, your casters haven't fired yet. No. No. God, the damage track is so long. <laughs> um, can you check line of sight from my Volcano Cannon Reaver mm -hmm. into your casters, please? You can see one clear. Yeah. Yeah. And if I put it there, is yeah. that still clear? Yeah. Cool, that's what we'll do. We'll go into them. So, Volcano Cannon, for a heat on him, please. Mm -hmm. The guy with the fist. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that's a hit, so three hits of strength 10. Yeah. Any save? Nope. The voice shield's the same regardless of chassis. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Similar, yeah. So that will be three 14s. In fact, I think that will. That'll be three directs. So it'll be one, two, three. Last trap, last yeah. pit beaver. 
And then the Epoch. We're within 30, aren't we? Yeah. I just trust you to be able to laser eyeball things. I can't estimate distances. You were last time and I've moved closer. Okay. So, so looking for threes. Okay. Five. Four threes. ups. One goes through. You need to roll one more dice. I hit you five times. Oh, yes. You rolled six dice, though. Yes. It's five Should I start again? Them. Yes, go for it. Well, that's much worse. That is two hits. Okay. One goes through. Okay. Strokes eight, so that'll be a nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. That's him done. Okay. We will then go. I think you don't have anything to shoot into them, is that right? That is correct. Yeah, yes. So we are going to put this reaver into this reaver. Okay. Um, we're going to start off the APOC launches. Okay. Five shots if you pass me on the dice. You sure it's not six? I'm sure. Are <laughs> you concealed at all? Probably not, actually. No. Yeah, yeah go ahead. So that is going to be four. Four hits. He's fresh as a daisy. Not for long. He's not. Where's that reactor dice? <laughs> Uh, one heat and one shield. Okay, we're then going to sit down in range with the gatling. Draw! No. No? But we'll have a volcano, you. Okay. Uh, where's that reactor dice? Ooh, Animus. So, one on your reactor and a command check. Yep, on a four up. Nope. No. Nope. And then you're not corrupted, are you? I can't. You're not yeah. What on earth? There's a four. A four! Oh my uh, goodness. You, you check it. Oh, there's a cheat sheet there. There we go. This. Whoops, there goes my audio. I'm getting too excited. It usually happens. A four belligerent. Move d6 inches towards the nearest enemy unit, which will be him. Four. Okay. So Do you go around the building, or. Well, you can go over it, you're tall enough. Yeah. And then. Then? Well, I've got to fire the Gatling. Oh, yes, you pick yeah. a gun to fire, don't you? Yeah. That makes sense to me. Now we range. Yeah. Just as planned? Just as planned. <laughs> uh, one more dice, please. I swear I've already given you that dice. I'm knocking more things over. Threes. That's going to be four saves. Oh, dear. Right, uh, react dice, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Uh, no shields, but two heat. One. Two. Am I in the orange or the yellow still? You're still in yellow, but one more. Okay. In the orange. Cool. Right, and that is you activated, I believe. Yes, that's him done. Yes. Not your casters yet. No. Okay, let's see if the shield stripping reaver can strip from shields, because you, I believe you're now within 24. Yes! Because you just fired your gatling at Yes! Are you within 20, though? Woohoo! Yes. Yes, we'll fire a mega bolt first. Okay. That's what, seven shots? Seven hits, I know. <laughs> right, uh, threes. Uh, it is six hits. I am going to push for that. Makes sense to me. Uh, me a... So I dropped one. Just the one shield, actually. Yeah. Just the one shield. Very good. And then the Gatling Cannon, which is six. Mm -hmm. That is four more hits. Um, You're on fours. Yeah, I'll push. I only dropped two. Uh, I only dropped two. You only had two, so you've always got. Cool. Then we will go on to. So he's toasty. He's fine. He's yellow, I'm not toasty. So, so we will. And he was fine. Alright, we're going to do what we can. Okay, what can you do? So, we're going to put the two rocket pods yes. into you here. Mm -hmm. We're then going to put the twin magma into you as well. One cannot see. Him, and one oh, I see. Right. Into there. We're doing a massive. Let me fight. finish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so we will start off with the. Um, we'll do the four. Uh, no, the yeah, they are four shots. Okay. Minus two, so five. Yes. Um, Six. Only one's worth five. Never mind. Yes. Yes. So that's going to be four hits. The scatters teams. Cool. First one. Gone. gone. Second one. Also gone. Gone. Nine. So four saves? Yes. Now my reactor is now quite warm, isn't it? Yes. But my voids are fine. Your voids so are fine. We'll go with threes. 
Are we dropped two? Mm -hmm. Drop two. Out of curiosity, One, if two. I had pushed, I would have passed them all. We will then go for. So we're going to go for the first one hitting on threes. Yes. That's going to be five. Okay. Um, and then the second one. Oh, because so it's a big one pile, yeah. isn't it? Um, second one misses hit on five. That's indirect. So that's going to be another four. Right, okay. That was uh, statistical. <laughs> yes. Um, how am I doing with him? He's. Pretty fine. He's okay. got one shield dropped and he's still in the green reactive eyes. Alright, reactive eyes then please, it's there. Yes. Thank you. That will be a heat and I'll stop it. Uh, D10 oh, please. The D10s. Like a magpie. We do pass. So threes we roll on ones. Good thing too. Okay, we drop two shields. Bosh, bosh, that does save you from, because I have one more magma cannon hitting your threes. So that's going to be... Six oh. hits and a miss. Yes. Do you just want to roll the six now? Yeah, okay. And then we'll... Oh, yes. Well, the, the scatter can hit somebody else, so... It doesn't. My is... But my voice did collapse. Yes. Boom. All right, are you done? Yes. Good. I think I've got a pair of warhounds left. Yes. So this warhound mm -hmm. is going to go into... These lancers. Undamaged? They've taken a bit of damage. A bit of damage. Yes. Which lancer are they? Yes, that, that one. one. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think going into the lancers is the best call. So, plasma, can you check them with an 8? Am I going to hands? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure you are. Maximum fire, yeah. either way. So, I either hit them on 4s or 3s. Uh, it doesn't matter. Cool. One hit for me and a miss. Very good. Stop holding the dice! Yum yum. Yum yum. Or at least bring your own dice so we have enough. Yum yum. Okay, seven inches have gone, so okay. two hits and strength ten. And that puts him in the orange. No, that's fine. It's fine. Strength ten, no save. Exactly. That'll be a twelve and a sixteen. Okay, so, so that will kill one. Yes, yeah, so this one, so yes. end of the track, and off the end of the track kills one. Yep. And then the Mega Bolter can't see. Very good. Are they shaken? Are they shaken? On a two up. They're good. Okay. Uh, you're still done. Mm -hmm. So that Warhound, now this is the question. Your voids are out, aren't they? Yes. A single lucky hit with a plasma could just kill him. Or it could be these guys. Yeah. I think we're going to go to the Reaper. So plasma, maximal fire. Am I with an eight? Does it matter? Uh, nope, not with that. Oh. Four hits. Location dice? Oh, it's hard to use the location Well, you dice. don't have any locations, so... <laughs> Strength 10. To the body, that is a nothing. Two 12s and a 15. Good, if you could mark me up, please. I can't, you didn't bring any pips. Yes, come on, Alex. Uh, one, two, and then a 15, a 15 is a crit. Yeah. One, two. And there we go. Okay, and then Mega Bolter will aim for your body. Yes. So four, six. Uh, we are going to be there for on fours because we're in twelve. Mm -hmm. So fours. Okay, and then plus two hits, so six hits. Yes. Use our strength four plus your track five. Uh, might be a bit of this. Yeah. So what did I say? Five. So that's three. Six. One, two. Um, and I'm five. glad you know how this game works. Yeah. Cool, that's him done. And that is me done. Righty-ho! It wasn't quite as decisive as I was hoping for. At the end phase, I go up by one. Yeah, right. Well, it might be decisive in a minute. <laughs> um, okay, the all-important... Priority roll. The only other thing is, he is shaken. Why is he shaken? Because... Oh, he's nowhere near anyone else? Yeah. No, oh, okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Ten. Ten. I guess we'll roll again. Very good roll, but well done. Ah, well done, well done. A Six. nine. That's, uh, that's not as good. Do you want priority? I do. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Back of them and then back round three. To summarize the Astrestrium phase. So one Astrestrium has been played, smoke screen. So minus two to hit. Yeah, for those who don't know knights, this is like uh, Blind Barrage, but only goes one way. Yes. Um, but knights only, that's yeah. the trade-off. So they are minus two to be hit, but can still shoot straight. Orders. Yep. Uh, first fire. Yep. 
and we have full stride. Yep. And then Alex tried. Try to charge order on this hound, and no is just a good bonk to his chest. Roll a four, need a five. Okay. That's the end of my orders. Yeah. So we're into the movement phase, but Sophie, I'm told you have a first fire lined up. Yes, um, while I've got some line of sight, we're going to chuck the first fire down range. Into him. To, yes. Yeah, so his voids are out, but he's otherwise fresh. So that's going to be three hits. Yeah, so six hits. And then scatter. D10, bum bum. Center mass. Four. I think that might clip him. You've got all the damage. I've got that one. And that one. Thank you. Don't know where mine's gone. The ometer, it's there. <laughs> Alright, don't know. Can't see it. That will be a miss. Okay! That's just gonna be six. Just six. Just six hits to the legs. Now that's yeah, a, that's a good roll. roll. So that's gonna be four twelves. Okay, so where did the right one you're saying? Four twelves, you're saying? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. A thirteen. That is a devastating. And a 14. That will be a devastating, which becomes my first crit. Nice. No, I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we will then be back at the end of the movement phase. Yes. Join us in the repair phase. Mm. Let's just have a little look where we've scooted. So, <laughs> we've got this long line of lance here with a spicy warhound eyeing everyone up. We've then got um, my reaper's moved up. This Warhound is blocking the shots into that Reaver. He falls fully stridden, these knights, and we cast this on the world, please stay where they are. This Reaver has moved this way to try and get out of line of sight of the caster, so I hope there's not too much coming his way this turn. Warbring has moved this way to get a better line of sight. We now actually have the Acastus in the corridor along with the Reaver. Mm -hmm. Can't see the Acastus, but this Warhound can. Okay. We've done the boring damage control rolls already. Yes. Um, I don't think we had anything like Voice reigniting. He blew a chunk of his armour because he's in the orange. Mm -hmm. We do have one other important roll, don't we? Yes. For your only Titan. Yes. Alright, so that'll be D3 hits. strength 9. One strength 9 hits the body, which is a 12, 15. That is a crit. Only just, but that's an engine kill. So what happens? Engine kill! It's not really my kill, is it? It's more yours. Six. How's your reaction doing? Warm. Seven. So wildfire. So wildfire. I go that way. So we will start off with the Gatling into... Don't want to follow the cannon first? Uh, actually, he's closer. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to fire the Gatling first? <laughs> I do. Uh, can you measure for me who's closer? I think it is going to be me, right? Um, so that is seven and a half. Extra base to extra base, easily me. Okay. We'll go with the Gatling first then. Yep, uh, let me double check actually. You are my Gatling guy, yeah, my voids are up. Okay, so we're hitting on fours. Yes. It's going to be three hits. Three hits, you say. Well, I am back on three, so I did get a good yeah. roll. The reactor's not in the orange yet. Mm. It is now. And um, we drop a void for our trouble anyway. Okay. We'll then go with the APOC launchers hitting on fives. That's another three. <laughs> not going to push now. That is one more void gone. There'll be two more, because you'll be on fours, won't you? Sorry, that's wrong dice. Yes. Hooray! And then we will... We may as well push the reactor and fire that volcano cannon. Um, we'll put it I on... I don't think you can choose not to. That shoulder. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> so a heat, I mean, heat doesn't matter. Yeah. And it is a miss. Ten inches. I think that's going to miss everybody. Yeah, everybody. easily. And then you fall over. And then I fall over. Oh. <laughs> Into... <laughs> Into my Warhound, mm -hmm. and possibly my Reaver as well. So, yes. Yes. Okay. Good. D6. So, the Warhound will take D6 hits to the body. Okay. But only one. Only one. Okay, okay. So it's a 10 to the body. 10. You are Plasma on the right. So you're the unhurt you, body. Not anymore. Well, it's only direct. And then my Reaver? Yes, you will take five hits. <laughs> We're looking for legs. It's a weapon! Which weapon do you obliterate? So, one, two, the fist. Yep. Four, five. Uh, so yeah, you know one, what, two, you know four, what five. I mean. Yeah. The APOC points are gone. Okay. That is on the Reaver. We want the Reaver of the APOC. That makes yes. sense. Okay. 
Okay. So that was damage control, failing to be controlled. Now yes. we're into combat. You have priority. Do you know what you want to do first? Yes. What do you want to do first? We're going to fire the casters and the variants. Hooray. Into this warhound. What? You can't do that. So. They're not pointing at it. Or actually, am I? Because it's, it's only a 36 inch range and I don't think I've got it in range. Well, the table's 48 inches. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with this. With this little lance first. So his voids are out, is that correct? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to flame you. Yes. So we're going to do two hits from the flamer um, on the side arc. So these are strength eight effectively to the weapon. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, the Gatling's gone. Yep. The Gatling gone. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the other flamer, um, which actually would have hit the same location as the same location. time, so it's even more broken than it was. All right, then we will chain fist you. Um, we'll go for the body, why not? Makes sense. Yeah. So that's going to be two hits. Yes. In go fact, on. am I within two inches with him? Oops, just smacking bits off my Titan. That's what you get for failing me. <laughs> Uh, two, you say? With him. No. No, I didn't think so. So this is strength eight, so that's just going to be a single ten. A single ten uh, is a single direct hit. Oh, good. All right, we will then pop the two shields into that warhound, because he's still got shields up, hasn't he? Not for long, but yes. Yeah. Um, he's full That's one left. Oh, you're sorry, he is full shields. His reactors yeah. are the ones having a bad day. Oh, um. Would you rather go into somebody else? Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going to go over to him and we're going to aim into the legs. Okay. Is this giving a penalty? So six right. is, though. No. Good. Nothing. I've worked that out. And then the Cascade bolt cannons will go into you here and we may as well aim for the bo Am I on a plus one for the body? No. So no. I hurt it. What about that weapon? I do need that. Yeah, well, a gatling. Um, do I need to hurt a gatling? A 10. Yeah. A 10 to 13 is a strength 7 for the body. Oh, okay. You're just firing into the air like sand they make, I guess? Yeah. yeah. You're picking him as a target, so yeah. you can't hurt anything else. Yeah. That's the edge of my base, so. One is. One is. Only on a 50%. So I am hitting egg fives already. Let's just hope for the legs. Okay. So that is that's cocked. So that is going to be five hits to the legs. Well, five hits because you didn't aim, did you? Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, five hits. Yeah. So do you hit the legs if you don't? Do Thank you, Alex. Matter. I was getting ahead of myself and excited. It's quite all right. You hit me in the face. Yeah. Right? It's... Blah, 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 blah. Cool. It's not a time killer weapon, so if we've been through this. Um... <laughs> so that is for your lance shot. Mm -hmm. Um, that means he's safe because your casters are probably out of range, you reckon. Your casters, can they see this Reaver? One and a minus two, I expect, but so many shots. Mm. They're on full stride. Where are you likely to stride to? One needs to die. Well, the Reaver needed to die, and then you killed it for me. The Warbringer's going to fire at the casters. Okay. Looking for a six because of your things, but with the thing from him, I know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, Quake first, uh, Center Mass on him. Okay. Which will overlap both on a hit. So. In fact, it would have to be on him, because you're only just in Corridor. Oh, good point. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So, Quake, sixes. Right, favor my fortune. Fine. D6 scatter. Weird way to roll dice, wasn't it? Three inches. So from his shoulder, that's a good scatter at least. Yeah, that's a direct hit on him and hit the other one. So three heat strength ten, no strength nine. Yeah, so I don't um yeah. No save. No save. Oh it's based on the number of multi, wasn't yeah. it? So strength nine. So that'll be a nothing, an eleven, and a fourteen. So you will kill one. Okay. And a fourteen is gonna direct on the other one. Yeah. And they are now Quake and Concussed, so auto shaken and blah, blah, blah. Um, can that Warhound still see that one? Yes. Yes, so Volcano the first. Mm -hmm. React dice, please. Uh, yes. Thank you. Looking for a six. Good. Yes. That was improbable. 
So that's two hits at strength 10. Obviously no save. That is a single 15. Okay. Um, bosh, bosh. And the second volcano. That's two heat and two... Two heat and a hit. Two hits. Oh, yes. Strength 10. That is two more 15s. Okay. One, two, three. That's killed it. Oh, wow. Warbringers! Yes. Don't tell Dan. Don't tell Dan about this, or I'll, I'll never live it down. Um, right, well, that's his activation. Your cool. Turn. He just moved from six inches forward. Directly towards Reaver. Yeah, this this way. So to there. But try and arc dodge them if you can. I mean, they're already out of arc. And then what, to the here? Yeah. And you're also probably with an eight for most of my Meg Meg Walter at you. Uh, within coherency, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, sorry, they're already there. They're auto shaken. Yeah. Can't remember their movement. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you're done. Yes. Or just a bunch of guns into your lance, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Um, how damaged is he? His banner. He's all right. Is he fresh? No, the pit's been knocked off. Okay. okay. Sorry. I'll chuck it halfway. Um, well, actually, no, he was fresh because you I killed his mate. He killed his mate. Yeah, so this Warhound is going to go just into that knight. Okay. Plasma, maximal fire, clear line of sight, looking for threes, because we an eight. That is four hits. Yep, go straight through. Yep. Strike ten. That is a nothing, two twelves and a fourteen. One, two, three, four. Cool, just one more, made a bolter hit. We'll do it. Uh, this Warhound. Which one's he again? Plasma on the left. Mm -hmm. So I will, he doesn't have the critical damage, never mind. So looking for. I think that's still quite on the side, actually, from the elbow. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. Cool. So threes. No, twos, got short range. So that is going to be five hits. Four ups. Uh, four go through. Four go through. Let's roll a single five up. There okay. we go. He is gone. Mini engine kill. Yes. Engine kill. Engine kill. Uh, right, so that's him done. Your Gatling's broken, so are either of these, which of these two is closest to losing a knife? Not them, they're not within Carapace range. I'll shoot that one. Have I shot him yet? No, I'll shoot the Warhound first. Uh, are you in arc? More importantly. Are you shooting these guys? Uh, yes, okay. I declare them as a target. I'll move building out of the way. He is. Yes, yes, yeah. you are. About there, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll go for the further away one. Plasma, maximal fire, fours. So that'll be four hits. Yep. No save. Strength 10. That is a pair of 16s. Pop, pop. There you go. And then. And he now has no target. He's shot. He's shot. He's got an APOC launcher. Um, so I could pick him. No, it's busted, no. isn't it? Yes, it is. He broke the APOC yes. launcher. Yes. He's got a volcano. Which he doesn't fire. Yeah. <laughs> um. That suddenly turned. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Priority. Yes. Turn, turn. Uh, I think I've got a crit on my legs on oh, yeah. Power Fist Reaver. So one to three he turns to the left. Don't don't point your back at them, you moron. And then he goes up a reactor point. Is that right? No, he fixed that crit. He fixed the crit. Can um, it was either the crit or the heat. He fixed ah, the very crit. good. All right. Priority for turn four. Yes. One. Two. Will you take it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, probably. All right. Um, yes, I will. All right, we'll be back in a very short term. Okay. Four. The last hurrah! <laughs> um, we have charged. Yes, we both, didn't. Both on. of the units um, managed to get their charge orders off, both the night units. Yep. First move from Alex, shuffling back. I did try to charge here, I rolled a one, so yep. that was that, the end of that. And I've charged you in the button. Yes. So you start going into the legs. Just discuss it. Basically, don't roll ones and don't roll ones. He didn't. Is that engine kill? Yes. I mean, yeah. you, it starts on. It starts yeah. on a three. But yes. There we go. Engine kill. Uh, do you? Yes. Shoot me. Yes, I do. Where's the D10? Three. three. That is a fail. <laughs> and then what happens? Hey! Get the meltdown. <laughs> So I take D6 strength 8 hits. I mean, so does everyone, let's see who else we oh, yeah. So scale plus pit, or pits plus two. How many pips in the reaver again? Six? Yeah. 
for eight, eight inches. I think we'll actually just be the Warhound and you guys. Yes. Uh, so yes, sorry. D6 hits at strength nine. Would you like to hit my knights first? I would love to, thank you. Five. Okay. Strength nine. Not going to do two of them. That is going to be two twelves. Yeah. One thirteen. Three fours, yeah. And two 15s. Uh, first 15 will kill one, and the second 15 will drop one down. Okay. So, got to keep the main bloke. Yep. Is he shaken? Or is he stirred? <laughs> he um, finds this whole experience very stirring, haven't he, Tan? Yes, he's fine. Okay. And then, do you want to roll for me? Oh, yes. There's d6, four. That's strength 11, because of my side armor. Yeah. Rear armor, even. Rear armor into. Which weapon do you obliterate? <laughs> One, two, three, it's the plasma blast gun. No, it's the Vulcan Mega Bolter. Okay, and you are plasma armor the right, so you break the Bolter. Yes. Well, that was less than optimal. Yes. I you got excited kill. when I pulled a 10. Mm. I think it went quite well, personally. <laughs> and then... So that was your charge? Yes. Uh, you've got one or more charge over here. Yes. So we're Just going to... Just get the camera. It's not going to take very long, is it? You have now moved, so we're going to go eight to here. Oh, okay, sorry. One, two, eight to here. And then, Three. You're an arc there. Yeah. Okay. And then we will, if you want to just, sh we'll pop round into your side. Probably. Yeah. That's and a bit two. straight line, isn't it, still? Yeah. Even for knights. So, so we get to, I think you can get a full 12 inch there with him and be within two. I don't think that's within really two. I think I'm going to get one pure attack. Okay. Yeah. But we're going to go into your body. Yep. Yeah. Is this the side or the rear then? It's the side. Okay. So. Body's on no bonus yet, but one five, point of damage done so far. Two. So these are hitting on twos. Okay. And it's effectively strength eight. Yeah. Starts at ten. Okay. So we've got two elevens. Okay. That's a pair of directs. Two twelves. That is a. Further pair of directs. And a um, 12, 30, 15, a 15. That is a crit. It's also off the end of the track. So it's two crits. Oh, and he is toasty. Mm. We have a damage control phase coming up momentarily. Um, last couple of bits of movement. We're going to move to basically to short range. Mm -hmm. Maybe not with an explosion range, actually. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and Warbringer is going to go. One, and then our reactor. We keep firing volcano cannons, you see, so it's getting getting warm constantly. Yes. So we're going to go back two and a half, which probably won't get us outside ten. So actually, we'll turn back like that, so we've got an option. To... No. Well, okay. So picking lights as a target yeah. for carapace weapons. If he's within ten and he's outside ten, can I aim at the one outside ten? No, you can't. Or if any model in the unit's within yes, range. That is correct. What a weird, weird set of rules. Yeah. Okay, well, then we are probably within Carapus range. Yeah. Fair enough. Right, that's movement done. Should we do some damage control? Yay! Should we do it live? Yay! Right, so that Reaver, where are we again? We're in the orange. Yes. One, strength nine hit the body. Would you like to roll this? Yes. No! Oh, oh. Sophie! Ah, oh, well, it's boring all round. What about him? What about him? He is. In the orange. In the orange. Gonna roll one strength and hit to his body. He's on a plus one. That's a um, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. That's a that's a devastating. Yes. That's... And then his repair roll. Uh, he will vent the heat at last. Yes. Uh, this warhound will try and fix his bolter. Yes. That reaver we just did. That reaver's dead. That reaver's dead. Warbringer. We'll vent some heat. Yeah, cool. Right, um... Combat! You won priority at all. I did. What am I going to do? Oh, uh, it's not a tough choice. Just no, I really something. need to think at length. Let's really go for the tactical options here. Okay, fine. That will help. <laughs> Plasma blast gun. Uh, I don't really care if I hit my own guy. So we're going to go on his head. Cool. So it's overlapping the other guy. Yeah. Maximal fire. Looking for threes. That'll be four hits. Yeah. I don't think I actually do clip my guard. No, not quite. So, no save against strength 10? With nope. four? Oh, with two models left, even? Okay. 
Cool. Your activation. Um, I don't know if that would have killed them. Actually, yeah, because they're right on the end of the track. Yeah. Go on. Shield into him. Okay. Take one save. I pass. There we go. Him into him if he's an arc. Yes, You've got to do is. it properly, Sophie. Yes, yes he, he is, is an arc. Right. Time for the last gun, maximum fire, blah, blah, blah. That'll be four hits. Which roll one at a time. <laughs> okay, that's uh, a single 16. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right, we will tidy up some dice. I'll be back in a second okay. for a post-game chat. Alrighty then. I mean, that was a fun game. It was um, nights for a giggle, but no, they're, they're not entertaining. A yeah, and they've got tricks, and they're a bit scary, but they're a bit of tissue paper. Yeah. Um, I know Titanic has always hit the domino phase around turn three or four. But... Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alex is feeling. Alex is feeling much worse than I am. Yeah. <laughs> I've just like, beaten up a child. Yeah. yeah it's it's. The thing is, I think actually, I was chatting to another night player um, once upon a time, Jamie, um, and I know he he took a lot of Questorus and was like, oh, there's no point taking Questorus. So I've sort of taken all all Serastus, and I've sort of, you know, I wanted the boxes for um, the Acherons for the Ignis mm. Manipal, but I you know, might as well play with the rest. Yeah, I think actually trying to fit two Lancers in, maybe at 2,000 points, um, Maybe you ditch the Reaver, I guess. But yeah, but it, so what? What you could do? The thing is, you've only really got one missed mm. for knights. What you could do is squeeze in another lance and two more Acastus, and yes. then that would be scary. Um, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if, the, if you did, the only thing you'd be able to use those two additional Acastus in is that list. Yeah, because. No one will let you play with them in regular games. They're outright yeah. banned in most tournaments if they're not yeah. in the night list. Uh, it's a shame because they're pretty. They are generally pretty models, but they are so far skewed compared to. I'd like all the other knights to come yeah. up and then to go down a bit in effectiveness. Yeah. But um, oh well. <laughs> it's also, I think the one, the restrictions on lances are weird. If they didn't have those restrictions. If they work like any yeah. other squadron, where they activate as one, so you yeah. give up an activation advantage, but you can still be further apart from each other, that'd yeah. be fine. But it's so prohibitive and so easy to exploit. I mean, I had a single Quake Cannon, but yeah. God, I've had a sight item. Yeah. Let's go, yeah, that spot there, that's near some of your, yeah, those ones yeah. don't move. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, I, try, I tried the outflank tactic, because, you know, just to try and, I know you only had Corridor, um, the Acastus, the Acastus are tough. I mean, the, the seats. It's one of those things. Yeah, I think. Could the Questorus do more than this list? I don't really know. Is there an argument for Armagers? Yeah. There's but, not a financial argument. For yeah, Armagers, that's, but... that's. It's the other Acastus, the Asterius. Again, just. I'm not interested at that price. And I'm not interested in the 3D printed um, yeah, knockoffs. Yeah, it's, it's, that's for what feels like a, it, the Knights of a gimmick. Um, when they are, I was saying to Alex off camera, is it on camera or off camera? I have no idea what you're going to um, say, so yeah. more, more, more specific. Um, when the Knights combined arms with the Titans, they are fantastic. Warp displacement, um, the concealment barrage, um, the fact that you've got Titans and you're having to focus down on, on one here. Like that. All that disappears. That's the issue, isn't it? Yeah. Knights work better in, in a non-Knights army. Yeah. I, yeah. There's an argument for if you want to play Knights, bring a minimum strength Lubicon and Mega Bolters. Yeah. Pay your tax and then uh, you just get access to better stratagems, more flexibility. Yeah. Or a Dominus Maniple. Um, just adding loads of Knights in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is a shame. Because, um, yeah, this... this I mean, you had me on the ropes, to be fair. You you played very well, and uh, there were a couple of times where I thought, oh god, it's all good. I'm going to lose to Knights. <laughs> um, and I have lost to them before, uh, not on camera, but mm. with a side item that was uh, like trying to swap flies and sledgehammer. But I don't think we were playing the rules right then. No? No. No, so. Um... Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you definitely had me on the ropes for a bit, and then just it was crumpled. Yeah. Um, and I guess. 
the difference is with knights that once they whereas the Titan you can be still more or less fully effective until it's the last hit point. Knights obviously start leading part of the squadron, got less board control, less firepower and so on, so you are already just kind of fell apart around yeah. turn three. And it actually fell apart turn four. Yeah. Yeah, it's that last turn I was like, do I concede? It's sort of like, no, I wanna charge that I wanna get a second <laughs> engine kill. And it nearly it could have it could have messed yeah, up honestly, that warhouse. Yeah. Um that charge could have yeah. killed this one, and then yeah. it didn't block this firing at that. Yeah, yeah. There, there are ways it could have still yeah. turned around. And the, the volcano cannons picking off those um, acasters, volleying the beam weapons. <sighs> it's. Way, Warbringers are good! Na 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 na! <laughs> <laughs> what? What a taunt! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, your model's good! <laughs> Yeah. It's more of a meme at this point, though. Yeah, but but, but yeah. you know what? I'd bring the knights again. Yeah. Yeah, I'd bring them again. Um, but yeah, they were they will stuff like um, the double the double stratagem. Again, it could have gone either way. Mm. They're not reliable. They're not competitive. But I had a good laugh. Good. Yeah. And yeah. they were fun to play against and different to play against. Yeah. So we did joke. We were planning what to do today. We've done yeah. Tempestus versus Mortis and Mortis versus Tempestus quite a few times now. So many times. Uh, so it's nice to have you know, something actually different on the table. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the other thing as well, they're not technically Vex tricks in terms of colour scheme, you said, so you could run them as other. Also, no one knows any of them. Yeah, rules, no, so exactly. <laughs> you can try other households if yeah. you want. Um, I didn't even use any Vex tricks rules. I could yeah. have been any household today. Um, generic. Household Sophie. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I've got nothing more to add. No, nothing else from me. Yes. So if you have enjoyed, if you're still here, please think about subscribing, um, et cetera, et cetera. All yeah. hail the algorithm. Yeah. We know how it goes. Uh, stick some purity seals on the YouTube servers. <laughs> there is our Patreon, of course. Um, we um, currently like to say thank you to our current Patreons. Um, so... Do you know the names? <laughs> We've just actually just had, <laughs> we've just had a load of new names. So I, because oh, if I miss one, we've we've we'll had a lose couple of, that one immediately. Yeah. So we'd like to say, <laughs> best not say any of those. No, I reckon I can. No, it's it's. I reckon I can get it. So thank you to Do, um, Dougie, Steve, Ollie, I, Dad. <laughs> I'm not going to say his name, that's weird. And I want to say Matt. Um, so thank you for being loyal Patreons. We will we will be looking at getting some more stuff on our Patreon to have to offer you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to double check after the video and if I've missed out your name, it'll come up on the end. <laughs> be a public apology video from Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those get loads of hits on YouTube, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just have, have, have the thumbnail being you looking very serious and saying yeah. I have an apology to make. Got cancelled. No explanation. Perfect you know, uh, clickbait. Yeah. And just Sophie saying sorry, sorry Brian, I forgot your name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Um, <laughs> right, I don't know where we are. I think we're just ending the video. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye Bye. from the barrel.